Hey guys, just checking in on you. <clears throat> little progress here. So, uh, that motor that came with this grinder stand, uh, got issues with the starting. I, I, I'm not sure. I played around with it. I cleaned up the switch, uh, the centrifugal switch. I, I played around with everything and, uh, it, it fits really tight in the casing. So it, I, the, the arbor doesn't spin that freely, and I don't know if that has something to do with it or not, but uh, in any event, I wasn't going to waste too much time on it. Um, so I mounted uh, my 8-inch drill press, or I'm sorry, drill press, 8-inch uh, bench grinder, rather, to the stand. Uh, the stand I took apart and painted, uh, primed and painted, in gloss black. Now, at first glance, it looks like just a basic half-inch uh, steel plate, three inch pipe, and uh, looks like about a quarter inch top plate, but there's more to it than that. Uh, there's some real, some solid steel machined um, pieces, one at the top and one at the bottom, and uh, they're, they're held in place with a set screw that's on the back, um, <clears throat> and then they're threaded, so the plate bolts in here and then the bottom plate bolts in there. Uh, so if you were to loosen the set screw, uh, you could spin this. And I think that was the idea behind it. But in any event, you know, uh, this was $25 extra that came with the motor and I, I couldn't build it for that cheap. So I'm happy with it. Um, the plans are to, uh, set up the bench grinder. I'm just trying to figure out where, uh, I'm leaning toward, Getting rid of this table here and setting it up in this space. Uh, I don't have a lot of room left here in the garage. This side is uh, left open for the car. So, um, you know, I'm just, if, if you can see here, I'm, I'm just kind of jam-packed. So I'm thinking of getting rid of that table, setting up a stand there. Uh, I'm going to fabricate a similar stand for this bench grinder, so I'll have the pair. Uh, it's nice to have both. This one is, is more mild and, uh, kind of easier to work with. The big one, uh, you know, it's got some power to it. So, um, so that's what's going on. That's all set. Now, I'm trying to, right now I'm working on this vice. I'm doing some, uh, some body work, if you will. I'm, I'm making the metal all perfect, all the edges. You know, my OCD is kicking in. So, uh... Any big gouges or, or issues, uh, it's getting welded. So I'm in the process of doing that tonight. Trying to get a pretty good jump on it so I can get it ready um, for prime and paint. But I'm trying to rush through the vise, you, you know, so I can get to this. This drill press. Now, excuse the lighting. So uh, I went through it real quick and took off. A couple knobs and stuff you know and cleaned them up just kind of couldn't resist uh jacob's chuck is perfect i mean just what a nice piece i think the price was right um that base plate is pretty good size i must say so i just have it on the dolly cart for now and uh i'm six two and it's about about as tall as i am so you figure probably knock five inches off it's probably a good five and a half foot from the ground up anyway. So, I almost can't wait to get my hands on it, clean it up. But, uh, really nice piece. It also came with a spare belt, which is kind of cool. Back here. Uh, so, it's got, a, it's got a Sears Craftsman belt on it right now. And then it came with this belt for spare. Uh... So I'm basically just going to take it all apart, clean it all up. I'm going to paint um, certain areas on it. And I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I'm going to get rid of this bot. Let me walk over here. Excuse me. <sighs> trying to get rid figure out if I'm going to get rid of this box or not. Um, I don't think it was original. I would imagine they probably uh, had some kind of toggle switch, if not just a direct plug-in. But uh, I just, I, I've just never been a fan of these big box. It's overkill. I mean, it's a huge box. So um, the power cord's kind of janky. I'm gonna replace all the wiring, 
and I'll most likely um, I'll most likely just fabricate a little steel bracket that'll mount to the motor mount <clears throat> kind of on the right side there and uh, mount a toggle switch right to that <clears throat> but gotta move some stuff around on this on this table here um, <clears throat> And then I still got this drill press to deal with too. Uh, I've, this one's been on the back burner for a long time. So it needs some work. It definitely needs some work. Um, this has got to be cleaned up and sanded. Um, it kind of fits down on this. Uh, I have the motor for it. I have the belt for it. What I don't have is... Um, I don't have a table, obviously, for it, and I don't have a anywhere to mount the motor, so I'm just throwing ideas around. But uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. I, originally, I was gonna have all the stuff that's on it now just kind of spread out, but uh, I don't have enough space. I got I gotta figure something out here. I got the table saw in the corner, a bunch of different vices, uh, that motor. And I still have an anvil that needs a, a home, so uh, I like to find a nice tree trunk to mount it to, but we'll see. Oh, there's the Atlas. Really like how this one came out. I'm just on a drill press kick, you know, these older ones, they're, they're just like actual machines. You, you gotta love them. If you're into tools in any in any sense, then you can appreciate uh a machine like this it's just unbelievable I mean I I wish you could go out and they just don't make stuff like this anymore but what a nice piece the uh, the Atlas logo as I was mentioned in a prior video is uh, it's like a red plastic it goes right there so I still have to do that I just don't have enough time, you know, I'm working 12 hour shifts, third shift, and uh, I'm giving it everything I have, you know, I come home from work, I get home about 6, 10, and uh, I'm out here until about 9 in the morning, and I go in and go to sleep, and uh, a lot of days I'll, I'll wake up and come out here for an hour or two before work, work 12 hours, and then, you know, my night's off, like tonight, tomorrow night and Sunday night, I'll spend pretty much the whole weekend out here. So, but that's really it. I decided to, um, I'm going to hang the bigger uh, files. I just have to get some magnetic strips. And then I decided to also, um, these are all chisels, wood chisels. Got a little collection of them. I'm going to hang them up. Try to hang them on the same rack. I'm not sure if they'll all fit, but uh, probably somewhere. I started putting these little eye eyelets up, and uh, they just didn't sit in there right. They were all cocked to the side, and I don't, you know, I wanted to at least look decent. But so this is the welding helmet that I use. It's a uh, Miller Digital. I've had it since uh, 2000. And 2016 I want to say so it's auto darkening working out pretty good so well that's really it just a quick update I got to get back at it here appreciate you guys as always hope you have a good weekend thanks